Greetings all and salutations. I'm Jonathan Crook, your storyteller, with a tale of something called the Renaissance. Imagine, if you only owned the hunger in your belly, why, if even the clothes on your back, the tools in your hands, belonged to some master who would protect you, who had to protect you, if ever there was an attack on your farm. That was what was called the Dark Ages. After the fall of Rome, Around the year 500, people had to band together across Europe, Northern Africa, and the Middle East to seek protection from strong men and women who called themselves nobles, who could find a way to build a strong wooden castle with a gate around it. So if there were invaders, ah, let's run into the castle and there we'll be protected. <laughs> Yay, we pray. And they would hope they would be protected. And it was like that for, why, almost a thousand years until people began to sail across the ocean to explore the new worlds of North and South America. But some living in those dark ages, the Middle Ages, medieval times, as they're called, here and there found little bits of light breaking through. And the light shined back to an earlier age when the Romans built fine roads still in use today, when they transported water over aqueducts, when they could build fine armor and jewelry and even had plumbing in and around their homes. Not like those serfs owning only the hunger in their belly going out to fetch water. Looking back too to the ancient Greeks, they said, look, here we have Ways people can better rule themselves. Democracy, where people get a voice, a vote, in what their fate will be. And there were the likes of Aristotle and Sophocles, who thought about science and art and plays to lift people's spirits and show God's greatest creation. Why? Humanity. But the thing was, how could we bring back the best of the days of the Romans and the Greeks. Well, some got together, and even though the church at the time frowned upon them a bit, hmm, and said, perhaps if we look towards God's greatest creation, human beings, there will find a way. And they did. A way meaning, let's teach people things, like perhaps how to read, how to write, how to think for themselves and no longer be serfs owning only the hunger in their bellies. Maybe they'll own their own fate in some way. And thus humanists began to rise up. And looking back at the Greeks, using humanity as an example, why? Slowly but surely, they began to do things like come together to work together and rule each other in guilds. They also looked to change some of the bad things about the church. And they began to sing songs that people sang outside of the church and to build great buildings that could stand on their own and to see all the way, not just to the treetops or to the clouds, but into the stars, through things they found, through the eyes and bodies and hearts of humanity. And thus looking back to the days of the Greeks and the Romans and bringing them into the 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 1600s. Why? It launched a revival, a renaissance.